What's up y'all? Today we're talking all about how to set up a farmer's market booth so that people come and shop and purchase what you're trying to sell. I've got our booth set up right now here on our farm because I want to talk more in depth about it and I simply don't have time to do that when we're set up at the farmer's market. But I've got some good shots from last weekend showing how we display all of our produce and our eggs so that you can kind of see how we do it. So as the old saying goes, stack it high and watch it fly, that 100% applies to a farmer's market. You want your booth to look like there is an abundance. You want to stack that produce as high up as you can get it. And that's why we have these boxes here. And obviously you can buy boxes online, you can make boxes. And additionally, we have some boards right here that are in between the two because this allows us to be able to stack things out as well. So if you are selling produce, keep it simple but you wanna get all that produce out. You wanna stack it as high as you can get it. Um, and people will come to your stand. I can't tell you how many people come up to us and just compliment us on our display. And I often see other farmers with two things on the table. You know, they've just got some, some radishes and some cucumbers laid out on the table and it just doesn't look good. People don't wanna walk up to a stand that looks like there's nothing there. So our setup is pretty simple. We've got this tent here and then we've got an eight foot table. And then I really am a fan of using some type of tablecloth. So we've just got a black one that's fitted and goes over the table and then we've just attached our poster on the front of it and we've got our farm logo and just a few of the things that we sell a few of the popular items additionally in our state it is required by law for us to refrigerate our eggs so we have a little mini fridge here and we spent some more money to get a clear door refrigerator so people can see what's inside of it and when people see a beautiful display they're going to come up and they're going to check out the products that you're offering if i had to give some more advice i would just say just show up and engage people and be nice and interact with people. That's one of the joyous parts of a farmer's market is you get that reward and that feedback from customers. You know, when they come back and say, man, that produce was so good. That's really rewarding. And the great part about a farmer's market is you can just show up with the products that you have that week. And so it really eliminates a lot of pressure of having to be counted on. For example, if you're gonna supply a restaurant, they're counting on you every single week. A farmer's market isn't like that. Just show up with what you got. And if you have less produce, just eliminate some of the boxes. You know, when we first started, we simply only had uh, four boxes like this. We eliminated this one and all we had was spring mix and radishes. And we would just stack them on these two boxes and it looked really good. And people would show up and purchase our product. 